Tubeway Army, featuring Gary Newman, of course, and also featuring Sean Burke, who is my guest coming on very shortly before I chat to him. A big shout out to uh, Sally and Matthew uh, listening in. And uh, Matthew saying he liked the Boomtown Rats track. So that's all good. Well, hopefully you'll like a bit of Sean Burke's new music because I've got Sean on the line right now. Good evening, Sean. Hello, Dave. Hey, the, power, the powers that be. You do sound you're right in the background, though. So can you hear me OK? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Oh, that's good. That's good. How's, how's life treating you then? Reasonable. Reasonable. With this lockdown, are you, are you finding it nice yeah. and relaxed? Yeah, well, I, I live near Heathrow, so um, there's not so many planes, so it's lovely and quiet around here, so I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's like having a bit of time off from all that noise, isn't it? I, I guess you kind of become a bit immune to the background noise until it's all all gone, and then all of a sudden, hang on, well, something missing. Yeah, yeah, it's, but, and it's, it's just, um, I don't know, I like it. I, I do like the peace, you know. <laughs> when you make noise all day and, and then you get the peace first thing in the morning it's nice isn't um, it? yeah well uh, where I live I haven't got an, I'm not on a flight path here so it's quite relaxing 24-7 round here so uh, I chose wisely <laughs> yeah lucky man anyway let, let's talk about Sean Burke because 1978 does that seem an age away or does it seem just like you know yesterday when you were working with the likes of Gary Newman uh, time goes so fast as you know it's um but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was a long time ago, you know, but um, I live for today, so, you know, Did you actually I'm get doing to, better now. Did you actually get to Sorry? perform on stage with Tubeway Army in it at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did quite a lot of gigs together, yeah. That must have been yeah. a, fan, a fantastic... How did you get the gig, you know? I mean, how does... I mean, 78, how old were you there? I mean, you probably, what, just end of your teenage years maybe back then? And uh, Yeah, I, I was... Uh, what it was, I, a, f- a friend of mine, Phil, he, he came round and he said, oh, he said, there's a, there's a band um, looking for a guitarist in the Melody Maker. And I just split from Open Saw. Open Saw was a band I was, out, I was with before that. Anyway, he said they got a record deal and they live in Raysbury, which was about five minutes down the road. And I said, oh, I said, that's not me. You know, I said, that's professional, guys, you know. <laughs> and, and he goes, yeah, but you're brilliant. I said, yeah, well, you would say that, you know, mate. <laughs> So anyway, so I rung him up and, and I spoke to his old man and I said, look, you know, I said, um, I'm, I'm, I'm ringing up about the, uh, the audition. And he said, uh, oh, we said, we've got 50 guys already. We don't need any more. <laughs> so I said, oh, that's a shame. I said, I only live down the road. He goes, where do you live? I said, uh, Colnbrook. So he goes, oh. He said, you've got a guitar and amp? I said, yeah. He said, do you drive? I said, yeah. He said, and he said, what's your image like? I said, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> So he goes, can you come here for 7 o'clock? And it was about 6.30 at the time. <laughs> so I said, yeah, I'll come, yeah. Anyway, so I did, and uh, the rest was history. You know. So it's all about the image. <laughs> well, Gary did say to me, he said to me, he said, when you, when you, uh, when you walked into my, into my home, he said, I just thought, I hope this guy can play, because obviously, I, you know, I used to like looking the part. I used to look like that all the time. So, <laughs> and of course, you know, we used, to, we used to go down the Roxy with Open Saw, and if you didn't look the part, they didn't let you in. <laughs> uh, it's a bit like the Blitz um, Club, wasn't it, in the 80s? Uh... Yeah, same thing, yeah. Yeah, same thing. What's you had of... to look the part. What sort of influences did you have then growing up as a guitarist back then? You know, I mean, obviously, Image was kind of like very much part of your thing. But what bands were kind of influencing you to uh, get that image? Well, I, I really, um, I, I really, I was really influenced by Paul Rudolph for the Pink Fairies. Oh. I, I, and I still am. I love, I love the way he plays and what he writes. And, um, and also the Stooges. My brother was you know, introduced me to Raw Power and, um, of course, James Williamson was an amazing player. And, um, of course, with Image, it was the Dolls, the New York Dolls yeah. and Kiss. Yeah. You know, so those, those, I, th- I think everyone that went down the Roxy had those records, you know. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Pink yeah. Fairies, didn't they do a cover of Walk, Don't Run? Yeah, they did. There you go. Big, I'm, I'm a drummer yeah, and, myself. And they, they, 
Huh? Go on. I'm I'm a drummer myself, and uh, we we used oh, to right. we used to kind of cover their version of "Walk Don't Run" many days. You know, I thought goes on forever. Our version did. And I thought, oh, here we go. Go get our yeah. mate halfway through this one. <laughs> yeah, well, they they released an album called uh, I think it was called Finland Breakout. It was a live album. The fairies were best live, you know, and and there's a version on there of Walk Don't Run, and it's brilliant. I'll have to check that out. I'll have to check it's really out. really raw. It's rough as hell, but it's, it's worth it. Mm. Yeah. Speaking of yeah. uh, albums out, you've got this new album out as well. Uh, yeah, The Insanity Stamp. Yeah, and uh, are you pleased with it? I'm over the moon with it. It's uh, And I would be too. It is an eclectic uh, taste of, of styles as well you've got going in there. Tell us tell us about your work, pro, work ethic and your process of getting all these tracks together. Well, I, I sort of, um, I sort of like got fed up playing in bands, you know, like being disappointed and that. So, so I, I managed to get a studio together and I started recording my own stuff. And, and basically, I didn't play it for anybody. I was like, you know, I was getting, I just got fed up with the game. And, um, and then I, I lost the studio and, and I cleared off. So I, I went off traveling for five years. And then I come back and I thought my music was over, you know. I looked, I looked at the, the computer and, and the logic and all that, and I thought, oh, I can't do that. I was scared of it, you know. <laughs> anyway, so then a mate of mine, Patrick, he, he, he talked me into it. And, uh, and, of course, all those songs that I'd just written, I just brought them to life. And, of course, some of them are on that album. But, of course, you know, I've got all the toys which uh, the computer gives us, you know. Well, it kind of draws you in from the start. Perfect fit. Uh, one of my favourite tracks on the album, I have to say. Sort of like kind of an unassuming start, and then it just builds into this riotous affair, doesn't it, towards the end? Yeah. Yeah, good yeah I like to give surprises on the record. Oh, you know? it's, it's an album full of surprises, I have to say. <laughs> uh, off, off the album, you're saying you've got a, a new release coming off of it soon, yeah? Yeah, there's, there's, uh, the first single from the album is called Wreckneck, and uh, that's out on um, the, the the 5th of June. Um, that's only on digital downloads, but the album's on downloads and also CD. Okay, I'll tell you what, should we give that track a spin now? Yeah. Give it, an in, give it your best Sean Burke intro. This is Wreckneck, and this is a very personal song to me, and um, I really enjoyed doing it, and... Um, I hope you enjoy listening to it.
Oh, wow, that's a powerful song and a powerful ending. The track's called Recknack. If you've just joined us on the phones right now, is Sean Burke, the man behind it, the album, The Insanities Count, and that's the track taken from it. Uh, welcome back to the phone, Sean. Hi. And what an interesting uh, title for a track, Recknack. And uh, the, the, maybe there's a few people out there that have spotted that it's uh, cancer backwards, isn't it? That's right. And That's right. In, in, interesting choice. Is, is there a good reason why you chose that particular title for a song? Um, well, that was the first song that I wrote after being diagnosed. Oh. I, have, I have cancer, so uh, I got diagnosed with... Um, well, I guess it's the first tune I did, so um, yeah, it's a bit personal, that song. I can imagine it would be, uh, and, and to be told that you've got such a sort of like awful illness, you know, the, the, it, the impact. I mean, it's very easy for somebody to sit here and think, oh, you got cancer, wow, you know, but to actually be told it, it must be, it's a different kettle of fish, isn't it, completely? Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... It's not an easy one. It must put things into perspective, and that's why you've come up, come out with this great album. You know what I'm saying? It's a yeah, great I mean, it was like I was swimming in the porridge, to be honest, and that sort of gave me a kick up the arse. You know? yeah. Well, we all need that from time to time, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and and the album, it's uh, what twelve tracks long. Did you have to take a lot of outtakes to uh, get it down to the final twelve, or was that what you set out to do? No, I mean I've. The, the funny thing is, is that um, I've, I've actually got another 12 for a second album. So yeah. it was, um, I don't know, it just all flowed. There was, there's, there's quite a few new songs on there. Um, and um, what I did was I, I sort of, I got the tracks and put them on Logic and sort of um, crossfades. And, because the whole album is like one song. It all links in together. And, um, and I don't know, I, I just, just went with it, you know. I've got, I've got some more songs. I've got, I've got quite a lot of songs, to be honest. Um, and I think I think the second album is going to be better. Mm. Well, we look forward to that. I mean, that's obviously going to be next year's project then. Uh, but yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to start it soon. It's um, you know, a lot of the programming has been done. It's just things like guitars and vocals and backing vocals. I would imagine, Basically. yeah, I would imagine there's quite a lot of programming. I mean, that track we just heard, there's a lot of sort of like samples and, and stems coming through and that, you know, it, it must be difficult to sit down and create something like that. Do you ever do you ever get to a point where you think, hang on, I'm overcooking this, so I need to help re rein it back in a bit, or do you just really just go Oh, forward? yeah, yeah, it's like, some, it's, it's, um, I love the detail and, um, you know, I, I, sometimes I can sort of come up with a section and, uh, and I might start I might sort of spend uh, four hours or more, and and then and then the next day I play it and I think, no, nah, that sucks. It doesn't fit, you know, and it's really hard to throw it away after you had spent so much time on it. Well, I'm just looking. But, on, so, sorry to cut in on you. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I have to multitask while I'm doing this sort of thing. But I was just looking through some of the instant comments we've got coming through for your music. Uh, uh, Mike Slifkin, he says, it's nice to hear Sean Burke. So Mike's obviously a, a fan of yours. And uh, Jamie listening in down in Los Angeles. Super funky, he's calling it. So uh, you're getting some, oh, good, yeah, getting some good feedback here, I have to say. Oh, um, lovely. That's nice to know. It is great to know. And uh, while, yeah. we, while we were playing that, oh, have uh, acid and guitar, what's not to love? That comes from Emma Water. Acid and guitar, there you go. Liking that one at all. And Jane Kay saying it's great. It's great. So a great one, Sean Jani as well. So lots of support coming through. That's what I like about this program as well. It's kind of like, do you like it or don't you like it? It's kind of instant, isn't it? You know, when I do like yeah, instant great. critique. Uh, we were talking off air about you wanting to give a copy away as well. That's very uh, decent of you. Yeah, well, what I was thinking it was um, Michelle's idea. She she came up with uh, an idea for a competition. And, and the question is, all right, hang on a minute. Ow. Hang on, before you, we, we, let, let, what can they? What they're going to win? They're going to win a copy of the CD, yes. Yeah, I'm going to do a signed copy of the CD, and also I will give a, a, a CD of the um, recent album that I released, which is um, well, it's, it's just sort of a five-track EP, and that's um, some work that I did with Paul Gardner, who was in Tube by Army, um, and that, that those five tracks that we did just before he died. So I'm going to give it as well. And, um, 
yeah, if if, if 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 anybody gets the answer right, then I'll uh, I'll send them to them. Okay, I'll tell you what. Then, do you want to give us the question now, so everybody pay attention? This is the question to win a signed copy of Sean Burke's latest album. Okay, the question is: How many drummers did I play with in Chubayami, and what were the names? Right, okay. Implying there's more than one. <laughs> yeah, I'll give a little bit away. So that's how many drummers... Yes. How many drummers did I play with in Chubayami and what were their names? Okay, so it's not like they can just pick a number out the air and have a guess, is it? They've got to come up with the names as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's been lovely talking to you, uh, Sean. Uh, and, and like I say, a lot of my listeners, I'm no doubt, they like their music and they'll be out to purchase a copy of it. In fact, where can they purchase a copy of it right now? Well, the um, the album is is on um, the usual download sites, and um, I'm, there's a CD which they can uh, buy if they get in touch with me through Facebook on my Facebook music page. Um, yes, that's what, that's what people have been doing so far. Okay. Um, I'm still waiting to get a, a website together, which has been a bit of a problem over the last few weeks, but um, that's all in hand. It all takes so, yeah, time. And it, <laughs> it does, and, and I'm doing most of it on my own, so it's um, you know it's a lot of work to do. And I would like to get it pressed on vinyl, and obviously if, if people are interested, then that shall happen. Okay, there you go. Listeners, you heard it here first. I'll tell you what, I'm going to keep that question open and give them time, maybe one or two of them out there that are fans of your music, but really haven't got that much of an idea of the Tubeway Army stuff. So I'm going to give them a bit of time, and I'm going to give it away on next week's show. How does that sound? That sounds good. And, and then uh, we can open it up all week. I'll put some comments up on Facebook, you know, win a signed copy. All you've got to do is answer this. And you can reply either to me direct... Or you, yeah. can, or you can go to Kinetic 7 Radio where there's a message uh, box and you can type the answer in there and that will get to us as well. So uh, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. It's been an absolute uh -huh. pleasure talking to you, Sean. And uh, thank you. For, thank you. Yeah, no, you, you've proper sort of like revealed a lot about your personal life and uh, how you've come out with this album. And it, and it really is truly inspiring to a lot of people, I would imagine, who have probably gone through similar stuff as you. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. well, good luck. Okay, thanks. thanks for having me on. No, 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 no. problem, no problem. And uh, thank you for taking the time to join us. All right, Dave. We're going to play out with In Every Dream Home, A Heartache. Also on the album. Thanks a lot, Sean. Cheers, Dave. Bye-bye now. Ta-da.
grand style of all of its comforts seems so essential. I thought you made an order. My plane cracked the baby. Your skin is like vinyl. The perfect companion. Floating my new food Deluxe and delightful Inflatable down My role is to serve you Disposable darling I'll throw you away now Immortal life side There we go. From the album, The Insanities Count, that's Sean Burke. And uh, what an interesting conversation we just had. And uh, as he mentioned, he's got a signed copy of the album to give away, which I'm going to give you a week to respond to. The message, the, the, the question, not the message, the question will go up on my Facebook profile and I'll give you a week to get your entries in. And you might want to start doing it now. Uh, but... The question was, how many drummers did Sean play with whilst he was in Tubeway Army? And also, what were their names? 
There we go. It's a tough question, but it's a great prize. It's going to be signed as well. So, you know, it's the Dave Charles show. It's the future.